Alright, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why Overwatch is just in a bad state in general. Now, before we even get started with this video, I want to know in the comment section below if you guys think that this game is just worse than the first one, if it's just an add-on like DLC pretty much. Why am I Genji? Hello? But I want to know if you guys are still playing this game. I want to know if you guys are just enjoying it and you don't really see a lot of the issues that are going on with this game. I'm kind of mad because my game actually crashed before. Uh, I, I literally was in the making of making this video and then my game crashed and my whole recording and everything was just gone. I'm going to explain a lot of the things that are wrong with this game and as we all know this game used to be 6v6 which changed and a lot of people do not like that change at all bro is napping his ass sleepy joe oh so yeah there, there, there's a lot of stuff that's just wrong with this game uh in general that a lot of people just don't like i mean that's that's what all of our favorite games right but yeah i, I know that the ranking in this game is just not good it's just that simple it's just not good i mean i've played rank i know ranked isn't good i know there's a lot of things that are wrong with this game and ranked is just a, a big factor of that i think a, a lot of the problem starts with stuff this game being free and everybody being able to access this game this game was a lot more i would say a lot less accessible kind of like how siege is like for instance you still have to pay like you know at least like maybe 20 bucks now i mean siege is very old depending on like what platform you're on and stuff like that you still have to pay for siege it's like fortnite right you know you don't have to pay for fortnite everybody can get on fortnite this game is still relatively pretty new and just for you doing it last time bye bye but yeah and I think that's kind of like the biggest problem and I personally don't mind that a bunch of people can play this game now I actually think that that's fun I think that it you know leaves a bunch of accessibility for this game but that also means that there's a lot of people who don't know what they're doing and that's an issue but I think there's just a lot more people not really knowing what they're doing because this game is not like Call of Duty so the fact that this game isn't like Call of Duty is kind of an issue right because a lot of people a lot of people pretty much just rushing it rushing it as if it's like Call of Duty Bro, did not do that! What? Now go back down, where you belong. I can't believe he actually did that to get back up. That was pretty cool, though. Yeah, see, like, okay, just like this right now, right? These guys are talking about Baptiste. Can you please just heal? Like, it's, it's honestly, it's just, it's so much underlying problems, like, things like that. Like, you have to depend so much on your teammates. And I think that's a really, really big issue on this game. That you have to depend on your teammates, but there's so many people who don't know what they're doing on this game. It makes it almost impossible to win certain games. And then you can't really have fun because you have to depend on your team to heal. You have to depend on your DPSs. You have to depend on your tanks, stuff like that. Besides on Call of Duty, you can just pretty much rush in and get your own kills you don't really have to worry about your team that much right it's a lot less worrying about your team and your teammates can what the hell bye bye yeah, I think it's that, and I think it's just the toxicity in this game as well. This, this game is very toxic. That's something that I could personally deal with. It's more toxic on PC, I feel like. Where, like, everybody can, like, literally communicate with each other because it's a little bit harder to communicate on console, obviously. Not that console sucks, it's just that it's harder to communicate on console because you don't have text to chat, you know? And everybody's gone. And I do think that, and this is just in my personal opinion when it comes to like uh, DPSs and some other like clashes. I do think that some clashes do so much damage, it is ridiculous. Got him. And you're a bucket of bolts. You're dead. Oh yeah, and I know one major thing that people really hate in this game is push maps. Uh, like when you're pushing the robot and stuff like that. I personally don't like pushing the robot either. I think it's the worst game mode in the mode. No, I don't. But it is a pretty bad game mode. If I'm if I'm if I'm being honest. I think in my personal opinion that will help fix the game is they do need a little bit more maps. I've seen some maps that are just completely got taken out of the game for no reason at all. Don't think that some maps should have been taken out of the game. Okay, so yeah, for the second half, I'm probably gonna just like go back to this little replay that I had because this was just way too good. I, I really hate when this stuff happens where like i record an entire video and yep for some reason uh so pretty much every time that uh yeah i just be having an issue with my editing software so this video is not going to be as long as it was going to be because of course that happens but let me not get all the way into that i was going to say i do think that there's a lot of issues with this game and i think for a lot of people it could be like i said the push maps and things like that i think there's just a bunch of underlining issues i do want to know what's a lot of you guys issue in the comment section below i do know that like like for instance like people said like genji got nerfed into the ground a bunch of things like that I know there's a lot of issues with this game. I wish that they can just fix. I don't understand why they just don't listen to the community. Like, for instance, if people like 6v6 so much, just put a 6v6 game mode in here. And if you feel like it's going to kill your 5v5 game mode, which I really don't think it will, I think some people do just enjoy 6 or uh, 5v5. No, I don't think that it'll kill the 6v6 game mode if they do that. I just I just don't see that happening. You guys know what I mean, the 5v5 game mode. But yeah, I think there's the stuff that they just need to listen on because the community knows what they want. They want a 6v6 game mode. They know that they want a 6v6 game 
game mode because it worked in overwatch one like if it ain't broke don't fix it we added more tanks we added more you know dps's and healers stuff like that so i think a 6v6 works better in my opinion than it would as a 5v5 because we have more people that we can play as now i don't know i think it just i think it does make sense i do like 5v5 i don't necessarily mind it but i do think it has its issues like for instance if you have one bad teammate that's pretty much it after that point you know what i'm saying like let's say like you have uh your one tank you have your dps's and then you have your healer you have your tank your two dps's and then your two healers right if that healer is ass and he's not good at all we have an issue because yes the old the other healer can pretty much like carry the heals and stuff like that but if they have two good healers they have two deep good dps's they have two you know you know one good tank things like that it pretty much just throws everything off but yeah i think it just throws a lot of things off but when you have a 6v6 that one person is bad you can still have two good healers you know what i'm saying you can have somebody make up for the tank shit like that i know a lot of people said that they like the more long jet like the longer battles they felt like the battles were a lot longer and shit like that i mean i do like to be able to like you know end people very quickly in this game so i personally don't mind but i do think that some characters are a little too strong in my opinion like for instance if cassidy pretty much gets on you throws his bomb and uses his little six shooter you're pretty much dead after that point thing with echo echo gets on you she throws her little bombs on you use her little you know like sphere i, I forget what it's called i don't know if anybody really needs damage nerfs or anything like that but i'm just saying in general there's a lot of things that can be changed that i think they need to look into i do know that balancing characters is a little hard i understand that especially because they don't want to nerf people into the ground and make them completely unplayable they try to go the route with you know soft nerfing people but some people do just need a nerf a lot of people were complaining about soldier for a very long time and they changed they did rework some things but it just wasn't enough and a lot of people were mad but then i realized like you know it is kind of hard to nerf her without making her completely unplayable i don't know man so there's there's just a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff that like they really have to like deal with in this game i think that siege is, is just a good example of the player base like there you're, you're probably gonna see like five people on siege every single day not really i'm just joking there's a lot more people that's still playing siege that's sticking with siege and this game is free to play there's always gonna be new people who don't know what the fuck they're doing oh i carry my team most of the games that i play in anyway yeah i just i just think that they need to listen to their community a lot more i think every single game developer and company should listen to their community like you know you should listen to the people that are actually playing your video game because that makes a lot of sense right i do enjoy overwatch i really do so uh i really do hope that some changes are made i don't think that they should have took away the maps i think we do need a little bit more maps it can get stale at times i think the best thing about overwatch that makes it not as stale is that sometimes i get put in a situation to where i have to switch characters and where i have to pretty much completely change up my play style to play this game yeah anyway though guys i want to know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comment section below those are just some of my opinions those these are my opinions not like x or whatever this is just how i feel about the game personally so if you guys have different opinions please write them inside of the comment section below and um yeah i'll see you guys later